plethora of core beliefs. Um, I, there was a part of me that was wondering if there was almost like a short list of core beliefs that we can. There maybe is. this is part of my. There issue, is. Reducing there issue. is. There is a short list. I'm not worthy. I'm not deserving. I'm not capable. I'm not loved. I don't belong. How about that for a short list? That's perfect. Um, Cause I had three of those five. So I was, I was getting there. Um, is there any connection between each one of those and the five laws? I just seeing the, the pattern. Well, you're always using the five laws to create every experience. So the connection is yes, of course, but it's about how you use those laws, how you understand them, how you mix and match them that creates the different experiences. And of course, a lot of it has to do with the theme of your exploration and the relevance of different things and ideas for you to experience. But again, staying in a positive state, as we say in the formula, will allow you to always get a benefit from something, even if something manifests that you objectively or neutrally don't prefer. In other words, it's not a vibration that is compatible with you. There's still got to be, you have to know, there's still got to be a reason it's there. And if you use it positive, you know that there has to be a reason that could teach you something positive about yourself, then you'll stay in that positive state. You will extract the positive beneficial information from that thing you don't prefer. If nothing else, seeing something you don't prefer helps clarify what you do prefer by contrast. That's a positive way to use what you don't prefer. And as soon as you use it that way, it's gone because you've used it up for the reasons that are positive.